Welcome to Calawegian Fly Fishing with Robert Smart. Now, here's Robert. Greetings. In this video, I'm going to tie a caddis dry dropper and it's going to be adjustable. You can slide it along the line for whatever depth you want. Now this wasn't my idea. A gentleman by the name of Mike McAlexander from Flies All Season channel, that's Flies All S-Z-N, came up with this idea. And uh, he has a video where he shows him tying this fly, which is better than mine. But I thought I'd throw it out there, cover the territory. Um, the way it works is you take some small tubing and some beads. You tie the beads on the fly and uh, slide the line through them and through this tubing and you push that over the beads and it creates a friction so you can slide the fly back and forth. I've used it. I've tied some and it, it actually works pretty well. So I'm going to tie this caddis as a uh, dry dropper indicator and uh, going to work pretty well I think. So I hope you enjoy the video and my fumbling efforts to uh, tie this fly. There's some issues that I ran into and I'll explain them in the video uh, a little bit beyond what Mike explained, uh, tubing size and how to get it to fit right. So I hope you enjoy the video and here we go. I'm going to tie a dry dropper. Okay. I place two small beads on this size 14 hook. Now I've got this piece of two millimeter tubing, which is too stiff to get over the beads. So I use a drill and I've widened it up a little bit. I'll show you that later. Now I'm going to anchor these beads real tight because I'm going to be putting that tubing over the beads to make it slide. And if not anchored tight, it'll deform the fly big time. So I build up the head in front of that bead and if I get there and build up on the back for this other bead. Now this is a size uh, 14, which is about as small as I've been able to make this work. A size 12 works a lot better. Almost too far forward, but we'll see how it works. And I build up on both sides because when I go to slide that tubing on, it'll tend to move the beads. Okay, now I'm going to put a little flash of a tail on. I don't know, some... This bright green stuff. Okay, now this is going to be a dry dropper, so I want something to help it float. So I'm going to tie on 
some grizzly hackle for the body. Okay. I'm going to put some dark green dubbing. For the main body. Okay. Now I'm just going to wrap this hackle forward. Give it plenty of fluff so it'll float, being a dry dropper. We'll capture that. Okay. Now I'm going to cut some Elk hair. Put it in my stacker. Tap it down good, get it even. Pretty even. And about like that. And we'll tie on this caddis tail as well as the head. Real tight wraps. There. And we'll whip finish that. Pull it good and tight. Trim it off. It's got some hackles that came forward. Trim them off. There. It looks pretty good. Okay. Now for the tricky part. We're going to take that tube that I drilled out and I'm going to cut a piece about the width of that tube and stick that on. Oops, almost forgot. I'm going to take some 4X tip it. I don't know. Maybe three feet. Two and a half feet. And run it through that piece of tubing. And then run my line through the eye. Plenty of line out there. Now here's the tricky part. I've always had trouble with this. I'm gonna push that tubing right over that bead. I kind of use my fingernails to do it. That's pretty good. Okay. I'm 
I'm going to cut another piece of tubing. About the same length as the back bead. And run that tube. Ah! Darn it. Lost it. Found it. Run that tubing onto the line. And I found, then I'm going to bring it over the hook. And now I got to get it on this back tubing. This is the tricky part. And. Ah! Didn't get it that time. Try it again. Ah! Almost. This is the hard part. Ah! That's got it. A little farther. There. Okay, I got it over the back tube. It's always been difficult. As you can see, tubing front, tubing back, pretty good caddis fly, and now it's adjustable on this tippet. And what I'll do is, on the lower end, I'll tie a uh, tippet ring or a good surgeon's knot. So if a fish hits and it's strong enough to pull this down, it'll hit that knot or tippet ring and it won't go no farther. But that's the dry dropper. It's adjustable. Uh, good idea by Mike McAlexander. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use them. They, they make sense. I've used them before. They work great. And uh, that's my version of the caddis. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please subscribe.